Hey, today I want to talk about the euro dollar situation because it's very interesting technical situation on a chart. Plus, in a couple of minutes, in 15 minutes, there will be European Central Bank monetary policy statement and press conference. We already got today the ECB interest rate decision. Nothing changed, is 0%. Uh, so, results as, as expected. But we want the president to we want to hear the president's speech. Uh, they might say something more. There might be more information, and people will uh, make their investment decisions based based on what they will say. Plus, the, at the same time, there will be initial jobless claims, good trades balance. So everything red, a lot of red today. Uh, meaning a lot of important uh, informations that might uh, move markets quite a bit. So there, there are some pips to be made today, for sure, or lost if you don't play wise. And the technical situation on the on the chart is uh, really interesting as well at the moment. So let's have a look at the at the weekly um, at the weekly chart. Uh, to start with it's not so important for today but we just need to have this line here so let's connect these two uh, two tops uh, for now and what's what's very interesting is a couple of things actually actually so first of all uh, on weekly as well we have the 50 percent uh, of this fall down here, this 50% line here, and this blue line here, it's uh, another feeble level, which we can which can actually draw now, so you you've got the idea what I'm talking about. So 50% and uh, 61.8. Uh, I don't I don't really want them here. Mm -hmm. Don't want to have my my chart too messy, so I will remove it. But just to let you know why I have these two lines uh, at the place in a place. So yeah, let's have a look at the at the daily chart and let's draw some lines here, which uh, which will draw a very nice uh, picture on the charts so we have sort of a a channel going on so the price is moving within the channel as you can see it's touching the points basically with a precision to one pip look at that it's amazing with the precision of a market. Plus, what's very important, it was very important for me. There is a gap from Sunday, as you might know. There is a, a new president being chosen in uh, France, which happened this weekend. They were voting. Uh, French people were voting and two new candidates uh, were voted out and we opened with this huge gap so the price went up the gap didn't close instead uh, basically let's let's have a look maybe on one hour chart yeah so the price went strongly up then the price went down so if you were playing uh, trading my uh, gap closing strategy and you were not greedy to wait up to here but you would get out after 50 pips or, or so you could make up to 90 nearly 100 pips but I always advise to just take a little bit and have fun enjoy your week anyway <coughs> The gap wasn't closed, so there is still around 100 pips. If you if we look at this this way, 
that we will treat this as a gap, not this part. And my prediction is that it will close. It has to close at some point. It might happen today. So I'm thinking that the price might uh, might drop during the president's uh, European president's speech. We can draw another line here just to keep eye on it. The price might be sensitive uh, around this point. And uh, yes, yeah, so something to to watch because I think this gap has to be closed at some point. So what might happen? The price might close the gap. Let's see if we have any any Fibo numbers here. Yeah, there is 50 that would be here for closing the gap and 61.8 as well. So the price might fall here and then either make the movement because the price will have to go one way. So we are just waiting for it either to break out, make a breakout uh, going up or going down so hard to tell uh, we just need to watch the markets but the uh, technical analysis is, is is very interesting at the moment so just bear in mind that we've got this formation there is sort of a triangle as well if you maybe let's let's choose different color oh, okay Let's keep it where it is. Let me use this line so we've got the same lines. So we can treat it as well as a, as a triangle, more or less, yeah? You know what I mean, triangle. So that would be a false breakout. And then if it goes back inside, that would mean that, uh, that the price doesn't feel comfortable going up and then it might go strongly down. Just a thought, just a thought, nothing to, you know, no advices here. Or what I, all I advise you is to be aware of the formations uh, on, the, on the chart. So, yeah, stay tuned and good luck with your trading. Have a good day.